One of the most common questions that we ask mga freelancers is, how do you pay for your taxes? So with tax season coming up, um, this coming April, the deadline nyo for ITR, we're gonna answer that question. How do you pay for your taxes? Kung freelancer ka? So first episode ng buhay freelancer. Okay, so for, for the first episode of Boy Freelancer, I'm here now at the office of Taxumo, and we're gonna talk about paano magbayad ng tax ko kung freelancer ka, diba? So that's one of the first things na hindi ko alam when I started my photography business more than a decade ago. So that was something na kinapa ko siya. Alright, so to help us how to go through our taxes, kung freelancer ka, I'm with EJ and Ginger Arboleda of Taxumo. So welcome guys. Hello, hello. Thanks for having us. Hello. 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 First episode mo pala. Episode ko to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. May afterwards mga business permits. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, okay, so uh, from a freelancer's uh, perspective, mm. and what are the headaches mm. that we face? What are the usual headaches that we face when we pay for buyers? Interesting. Uh, yes. All right. Okay. I, oh, I okay. can start with some. All right. <laughs> um, I think that like, one of the big um, Headaches is that you know if, if if they opt for let's say an accountant, uh -oh. most freelancers that we know, especially mga online freelancers, nagwork yung gabi, sa gabi sila mahata, na mahata work on some personal stuff, you know. Yes. So what happens is that you know they're not able to talk to an accountant at that time, uh -huh. um, and what happens is you know magsend sila message, then masasagot like maybe. So that that's one challenge that they have. Uh -huh. Another is that um, if you pay kasi the BIR, you have to pay through an accredited bank. Tama, sa so Bank, BDI. Mm -hmm. Or actually, mm -hmm. basta yung bank na malaman na doon sa vicinity ng RDO. RDO. Oh, exactly. exactly. Oh. So, By the way, mm -hmm. RDO, sa so hindi mo alam, is Regional District Office. So yung yes. mga pinupunta ang opisina na so I think the challenge there is that siyempre, um, yung mga bahong yun, bukas yun, umaga lang. Umaga lang. Yeah. Same case, you know, um, a lot of people who are servicing clients online, gabi yun, kasi pang gabi yun. Kumbaga, clients in America, for example. Oh, okay. So what happens is, gising sila na buong gabi, mm. and they have to stay awake the whole day Just because they have to pay. Just yeah. to handle yes. your paperwork. Kasi pipila sila sa banko. That's the annoying part, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Those are like a couple of issues. Yeah, yeah. siguro another thing is, kasi pag freelancer ka, you really want to practice your craft, di ba? Oh. So a lot of us parang start with hobbies that we want to monetize from, right? Oh. But then, wala naman tayong accounting background, so what we oh, usually nice. forget yes. is the business side of these, of, of, of everything. Of so, parang it's only when we get into it and then we sort of like charge clients already, and then you now figure out na oh my gosh, we have to pay pala taxes. Exactly. So pero nagsimula ka na. So oh. parang how do we like how Yon, do we exactly. really start? Okay. Yon, okay. I started off doing my photography business shooting for friends. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but as the business started to grow, then mm -hmm. you start to get noticed by other companies. Right. Ah, na pang ka na resibo. Oh, hard oh, yes. oh, oh, right. 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 Okay, how do I go about that? Mm -hmm. you know, yes. How do you, ano, so. So when it started, and when it started, uh, which is gonna be in another video, yeah. how to do your business permits <laughs> next year. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so when it started, uh, so the ginawa ko na pag isibo na, na pag isibo lang ako, I went to DTI. Yes. I had my single prop. Yes. yes. Time so, so yeah. oh, then how do I begin paying my taxes? Where okay. do we, what, what's, what's step one? All right. Step one would be registration. It's a BAR. Oh, oh. Diba? So you have your DTI, and then you go to the BAR, you bring that with you. <clears throat> Um, you can either register as a sole prop or as a professional. Oh, you you There you go. There you go. All right. So that's something I don't know. Right. I know the difference. Yeah, the difference is that professionals basically earn from practice of their profession, meaning it's usually mostly services. So, mga doctor, yeah, they registered as professionals in the sole prop. I see. So, mm -hmm. so kanyare, mga, uh, if you're a consultant, you're a speaker, you can actually register as a professional. So, there's a lot less requirements. For example, you don't need DTI for that. Uh, see. Or you don't even need your municipal you don't need business them. permit. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. professional. Yes. BIR lang yun. BIR lang siya. <laughs> oh. So that's one oh, of the that's things. Oh, that's something new. Yeah. I should have done that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. actually. Yeah. 
Kasi ako nung data, nag-single prop ako eh. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay, sige. So, ganun po sa profession. Okay, what are the what kind of kinds of taxes that you pay if you are a professional? Alright, the kinds of taxes that you pay um, depends first of all kung ano yung nasa certificate of registration mo. Okay. Kasi iba ba yun? Kung anong nakasulat doon, yun yung i-comply mo eh. No? So, certificate of mm. registration, by the way, is the 2303. Yes. That's yes. the yellow Perfect. paper. Yes, no, yes. got a yellow or blue paper. The yellow or blue paper <laughs> or gold, depending which party you go yeah. to. Yun yung magical piece of paper na kailangan mo. Makuha. At itago. At itago. Oh, original. Yes. Oh, anyway, Tama. yung 2303. Yes. Yes. So, iba-iba nakalagay dyan. Normally, everyone, usually, they have nakalagay um, registration, which is basically the, the 500 bucks you pay okay. when you register end every year. Uh -huh. And then you also have to pay uh, income tax. So everyone usually has income tax. Uh -huh. okay. And income tax is, it, that's the taxes that we all know. Mm. Which is, it's your gross income minus your deductible expenses. Mm. You get your taxable income. Uh -huh. and then you put, you uh, you check a table kung magkano yung tax you more. Okay. Yun yung alam natin na tax, no? Uh -huh. A lot of people, they think that that tax is just done annually. So when you are registered, kasi, you you do have to make sure that you file that quarterly. That's quarterly. quarterly. Yes. It's filed quarterly. What's I mean, the difference between the quarterly thing and the annual thing? Ah, because what happens is um, every quarter, you have to submit magkano na earnings mo to date. Okay. So when you file it for Q1, magkano na earnings mo up to March. Okay. When you file it for Q2, magkano na earnings mo up, up to June. So ganun siya. Tapos parang binabayaran mo uti-uti kung magkano na yung juice mo okay. as of that time. Okay. So yun. So ganun siya. So that's how it works. And that's like the, that's, that's income tax. I just talked about graduated. Are there other options as well? Okay. Like, uh, you might have heard of this, the 8% flat income tax rate. Oh, ako. Okay. Ayun. Oh, if you're okay. corporate, you're pwede. Pero oh. if you're individual, oh. if you're an individual kasi you're sole proper, you're yeah. a professional, mm. basically it's 8% of your gross income. Okay. Yun na yung tax mo. What does that apply? That was just um, last implemented last year as part of training. And just to add, no, oh, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. And just to add, the eight percent is only available for people who earn three million up to three million gross revenue for the year or gross oh, results. Yeah. Yeah. Below. Yes. Yeah. So if you na, you can't offer that. Oh, I see. So that's for professional. Yes. So what about the single prop? Ah, for single prop, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Okay. Exactly the same, though. Okay. Uh, if you're if you register as an individual, the same tax law, tax types will apply to you. Okay. So there, there is that income tax law. Aside from income tax, I said, there is also something you might get, which is percentage tax. So that is what is assigned to people if they are earning three and below. Mm. Okay? Percentage tax is like sort of your sales taxes. Kung okay. non-VAT ka, yun yung non-VAT tax. Okay? Mm. So um, percentage tax is usually around 3% of your gross income. It depends okay. on like whatever tax code you're using, but like mm. if you're a professional, most of us is gonna be three mm. percent. So every quarter, makani in earn mo na within that quarter, three percent of that is payable to the government as percentage tax. I see. So ganun siya. Okay. If you're earning above three M, you new VAT. Ah, yun yun. So about 3M, oh, okay. you're yun. dapat fat ka na. About mm -hmm. 3M, about yes. 3M fat ka na. And pag ganun, 12% of your income is your VAT payable. Na nababawasan whenever you pay out someone, exactly. and you pay back, exactly. binabawas siya doon. Oo, oh, oh, yun yung usually nakapatong on top of the... Yes, binabatong yun. On top of the, ano, parang net amount mo. Yes. yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's percentage tax. So when you opt for 8% kasi ng income tax, mm -hmm. that exempts you from percentage tax. Uh, Even though nakasulat sa COR mo pa percentage tax ka, you okay. can like, you can like not pay that muna and just pay income tax as long as you're 8%. Basta below 3M ka. Oh, yes. it, it simplifies things, yes. So, basta below 3M, that option is available. Mm -hmm. okay. well, one thing to note is that when you register, Sometimes the officer of the day they don't really know what you do. They don't really mm. understand. Oh, you on? Okay. Mm. So especially for oh. freelancer. Oh. So when you tell them I have many clients abroad, you nila mga gets yon. So, um, uh, kailangan sabihin niyo, you have to be clear. I'm a photographer. Uh -huh. I am a writer. Uh -huh. you, know, you have to be clear like that so that they know what to put you. And how to most of the time, you. how to classify you. Okay. Most of the time also they will say na you have to um, automatic pat ka. Uh, oh. Because they don't know better, okay? So if you are a taxpayer registering, oh. you also don't know it. So tatanggapin mo na lang yun. Pero that's a lot of compliance on your end. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Or, you know, you want to say sir percentage tax ng buwa ko normally. You, you have to say that so that to make sure that when you, you register, when you register mm -hmm. that you tell that to the officer, to the, the officer the day. Yes. Oh, so, the, three years before you can change that. You three years, guys, if you make that mistake, oh, oh, to yes. make sure that if you're starting freelancer at below three million pa, ang palang ang kita mo, just make sure percentage tax lang ang yes. kikin mo. Oh, yeah. Okay. So as a as a freelancer, okay. So when you register as a professional, report automatically quarterly, na. Yes, automatically yes. everyone gets quarterly. Yeah. Okay. So what's the April ano, tax? April is the annual. So basically, I said the quarterly that you update the oh. income mo to date. So basically, the annual is the summary for the whole year. The income mo all the way up to yes. December. So that's basically your fourth quarter. Oh, oh. So well, Q4 the entire year. Annual. Na lang yes. Uh, so Q1, Q2, Q3, and then the remainder of that is the annual. So yes. every every when the deadline ito? Um in in sa BIR it's every oh. April 15. Dates ilalim April 15. Yes. So in Taksumo. In Taksumo, oh. we're always five days per year. No. Okay. earlier than the deadline. Okay. So, so okay. So let's segue. So yun yung mga payments. So um, how does Taksumo work? Okay, it's actually an automated system where we automated the computation, filing, and payment of taxes. Okay. Because one of the reasons why people don't pay taxes is number one, they don't know how to compute. Mm. So, yun, sinog na namin. All you need to do is like key in your income and expenses. Because it okay. automatically shows you already the tax juice in your dashboard. Oh. Tapos, uh, another thing, diba, yung sinabi ni EJ ng problem kanina was um, when to file, how to file. We also send out reminders. And then your payment mm. is done anywhere, anytime. Okay. Because, for example, my business, kakunare, you're doing freelancing in, let's say, the province. Mm. Or in the beach. So, pero you're oh. Oh, in the beach. Ka. Oh. So, you can pay anytime, anywhere. Okay. So, you don't have to go to the RGO. Oh, so, like, for example, you can pay by a Louisier or department stores or whatever. Uh, you open that up. How do you, so, so, you accept payments. How do you accept payments? Oh, we have online banking, okay. mobile banking, um, 7-Eleven, PayPal, credit, credit cards. cards. Okay. So, ganun. they can All pay right. their taxes. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, so within the new system, what are the things you can declare expenses? For that's one. Mm. Or then one thing. That's why as a as a freelancer, I'm tagu po ako na madaming recibo. Oh, yun yun. Kaya talaga recibo ko detalyado at documented. So that's yeah. one thing. You need that to pay your uh, taxes properly, so that alam mo yung mga deductions. So yes. what are the deductible? Yes. Expenses? <coughs> well, the rule of the the rule of thumb, naman is whatever you can um, defend. Okay. Sa BIR, that's okay. what you put. So, okay. basa business related expenses. For example, ako in my case. I have an events management company, so mm. events director ako. Mm. So basically, I do coordinating and stuff. Yeah. Mm. So if I have to buy something, some groceries, that's related to my my job. So uh, that's so to my profession. For the supplies, and yes, the transportation, exactly. And all that. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. So if you can defend it, like when I meetings, especially for free answer, that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so in, in your in the system sa taxo, you can ano, you can jot everything down. Yes. yes. That's all you have to do actually. You just have to categorize your expense. Okay. And everything else is like one click. Then. And it's good business practice then for freelancers. Because one of the things no sa freelancing, hindi natin alam magkano talaga yung kinikita natin. Most of us uh, don't know like magkano yung kinikita, magkano yung uh, expenses natin. So in Taksumo, aside from like just tax handling taxes or tax compliance, you can actually see na how much yung kinita ko this month, how much yung ginasa ko. Ah, so there's a bookkeeping, ano? So yes, little... may component siyang ganoon. Like tracking of income and expenses. Wow. So you can even backtrack like last year, magkano yung kinita mo or magkano yung ginasa ko. So that's mm -hmm. a website currently. Right now it's a web application right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. How long has, has it been running? Um, we incorporated 2016. Okay. But we've been speaking to the BAR since 2015. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and we commercialized the product, meaning we started um, like charging people in okay. 2017. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You said no, okay. for the service. No. Oh, we just said that a big uh, convenience someone in your free last week going to go to line up. Or yes. Ah, oh. uh, galing, galing. <laughs> The magical question among uh, freelancers is why do we need to pay taxes to begin? Yes. <laughs> mm, why? Why? Sure. So, um, of course, 
syempre, diba, as freelancers, you need to have like uh, financial data to back you up. Mm. And why? Because the normal reason why we have people subscribe to the system is because kailangan nila mag-apply for a visa. So, syempre, oh. diba, ano naman yung proof, oh, proof oh. of income if you're a freelancer? So, you have to file your taxes because oh. the, the number one document that they ask of you is mm. your annual ITR, income tax. The ITR, exactly. The ITR. Oh. So, if you don't have it, of course, there's a point that before you get to the April deadline, what if you start after that, right? Oh. So, just you show that like, you're a consistent taxpayer oh. and you show your form 2303 or certificate of registration, oh. that that suffices. Na eh. That suffices. Actually, you're registered for the system already. Yes. Okay. And another thing, um, let's say, if also you want to... Also for no? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Back loans. So, yeah, yeah. Back loans, oh. personal loans, yeah. car loans, yeah. lahat yan. It makes, basically loan. makes you legit in the system. So Correct. that you can yeah. apply for other stuff in the yes. government or whatever and all. But that's do with banking. Yes. Tools. Yeah. Tools. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing is also, um, uh, you you also want to pay taxes because um, you can provide an award. Mm. Um, you're right. There are bigger companies who are looking for because they're looking for suppliers who are not fly by night. They're more legit. Mm. You know? And one proof of that is that you're registered. You can provide oh. ORs. Oh. Aside from that, because they need the ORs to declare the expense. Also, of course, because otherwise they're not the oh. So in short, you could say that taxes, in a sense, are necessity because it's the price of being legit. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah, that's it's true. the price of true, being yeah. legit and uh, conducting legitimate business, so that companies. Mm -hmm. Can recognize you as an actual freelancer or you know, yes. as an entity. Yeah, and, oh. you, and you can even nago your rate na. Because before, when you have an OR, wala. Ita tago ka lang nila sa box nila, de ba? Yeah, oh. Pero since they're paying you, mo, paying you more, oh. they have to declare you already, and yeah. they OR ka. That is a good yeah. point. Oh, because they need to list you down already, especially if the yeah. amounts are are too much. Yes, alright. So guys, if you're gonna be paying your taxes, which is soon, itong April lang, 15? Yes. yes. April 15, uh, tama. So, should be na yun daw. Oh, yun. No, tama. <laughs> exactly. You should be starting to prep your paperwork already. So, oh yeah. So, there's the guys, I uh, like, like, Taxumo, si Ginger, Thank si EJ. Thanks for explaining a little bit of how to do your taxes kapag freelancer ka. Alright? Ayun. So, thanks so much, guys. So, if we, please hit like kung gusto nyo itong video na to. Kung may natulong, if we helped you somehow, Comment below if you have any questions about how to pay your taxes. <laughs> diba? And subscribe to this playlist, Buhay Freelancer, for more videos on how to survive the freelancing life. Alright? Thanks so much, guys.